All right, guys, Rage and Groove 1 here. Welcome to part two of how to play Viper, and today we're on Bond. All right, we're on the defending side, and we're going to start off with B. Now, a few things you can do. Now, with your smoke screen, you could just do something simple, like going right here, just to have this walled off, or you could do something a little bit more elaborate. Maybe you want to go all the way down this way, if you'll notice on the mini-map. And then, from that point, you've got a whole wall going across this, so no snipers can get you, as long as they can't hear you. You can kind of just tuck off in this cubby, or you can move down and try to push in on them. Now, what you could also do is, once you've placed the wall in this direction, because I wouldn't suggest walling off Hookah, you could do something along the lines of going straight up and over to make sure that if they are, and you know for a fact they are pushing B, and they've been pushing B for a few rounds, and they keep rushing through Hookah, you could go across right here. That way you have a wall for when anybody that's defending on A can go straight through that portal and kind of walk out with a little breathing room, knowing that there's a little bit of protection to where they can't see them out and about. So they'll kind of be blind firing in through your screen to try and hit somebody instead of beaming them as soon as they come out of the portal. Now, at the same point, if you're on the B side defending, you're going to want to put this down over here, completely engulfs this area, throw a couple of those poison or those snake bites in there, get that doing some damage, and hold them off right here until basically they've pushed in over here. Now, if you know for a fact you've pushed them off from this area, you want to keep your wall up over here, make sure... It's going to give them a hard time. Just slow down the push pretty much. You'll be able to tag a few people as soon as they slowly walk through the screen. And they'll be damaged a bit because of the decaying damage. You could also do a full screen that goes across the entire way. Not only coming from B Long, but also from Hookah. It works a little bit. It's not the best, but could be a little bit more coverage. Could give you a little bit of leeway, but it's not the best. Now let's go over to the A side. Now defending A side is a little bit tricky, it's a little bit more ground to cover, and a lot of people love to go through showers. Something elaborate you can do which is pretty nice, could help your teammates as well. Point it off in this direction, you'll notice on the mini-map, the connecting portion in the middle. So say you know they're pushing hard on A, and sometimes they'll push you know, everybody they've got straight through A, they won't push anybody on B. So you got a little bit of time in between where there's going to be some rotation. Maybe your team wants to come up behind them. So sometimes you'll occasionally see people, they'll come through here, they'll push in to this side and kind of hold it waiting for flankers so if you place that wall down you'll give your own teammates enough time to not only flank but do it with a little bit more discretion as long as they walk instead of run they'll be able to move in smoothly and unaware that the enemy is coming up on them now for the most part you could throw a wall over here but your screen's not going to go inside of showers, so it's a little bit pointless to do this unless you want to just push into showers and kind of have that little bit of wall right there so that you can just move in and try to push them. Maybe you've got a jet or somebody that wants you to do that. It's not the best angle, but you could do something simple such as just making a wall right here or you could go completely right across the middle, kind of cut off both of them, which is a fair play. It could be uh, pretty useful in some scenarios, especially if they keep pushing A. And for the most part, whenever I defend showers, I'm just going to pop this whole side down. Basically just keep holding them back as long as I can. Just kind of hold up right here, have it ready. Poison's off. You rarely find me up in heaven defending with Viper, I'll generally be down on the ground trying to utilize which position I need to actually use my Toxin in. And really nice part, always love buying because of these portals. You'll notice, say uh, 
you're on A's side, but nobody's coming. You've got your wall down, you know, smoke clouds going, but you notice hookahs get lit up. Immediately just throw that in. Um, well, didn't work out like it did last time. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Maybe I gotta aim it a little higher. If you aim it up a little bit higher, you can get it all the way in. Not a little bit lower, you can aim it for to hit right here. That can slow some enemy pushes down. So you know they're still coming from that angle. You can just wait there, pop another one, just to give them a little more time as they're trying to, or anybody on a flanks, and then you push in right behind them and start lighting them up. All right, let's get to the attacking side. So your team's ready for an A push. Maybe you're trying to go through showers. Good little thing to do with showers. Aim it up. You could do it to where you block off heaven with this angle. So that way, once you roll in, you've got a wall going straight along this way. If you even got one right here, so say somebody's camping around back here, you can kind of slowly creep in on them. And then you'll have this completely covered off as well as heaven. And you can just move directly onto site and plant without them noticing you. As long as no one's over here and as long as people are pushing and keeping a kind of uh, pressure on those guys. Now, another way you can do it, say you want to help out people pushing in mid going to A. You kind of half it off right here. Get a little bit of a different angle to where you kind of still got the door, but heaven's still blocked off of them as well could do it that way. Now another good tactic, say you're attacking, you're ready to plant, and you've planted right here. You can always Born use this mini. to protect the bomb. It's really nice, really effective, and especially if you hear somebody defusing, you already know they're decaying damage right there, so you can pop straight in, get some kills, stop them from defusing. Now say you've kind of wiped out three people here, you know the other two enemies are probably on B side. You can also just throw a poison gas cloud up into the top just to make sure nobody's going to hit you from heaven. So you basically only got to worry about this or if somebody's stupid enough to roll out through that. Or try to wait it out as well. And in that moment, you'll just use your snake bite to keep Poison's it pretty off. much pressured off. Now let's go say you're uh, coming in from mid couple of different things you can do with the wall. Could come back here, kind of get it half and half if you wanted to. That way, people coming in from showers, they'll only have to deal with heaven on the right side, whereas you'll just finish off the left side, or you could kind of angle it. You could kind of angle it uh, just about this way. Say if you're trying to fake it. Say you want to fake push A, and but at the same time, you want to actually push on B. You could use this method to block off that little cubby back there where people are eventually using some ops or snipers or just waiting on you in general. And you have two people push on showers, kind of make some noise, while three of you will have this wall going. You immediately just go in, push through portal to B, and make a different push. Now, all the while you're making all this noise, you've got the gas cloud going, or the screen going and you're able to push through. Another way you can do it, say you come in from this angle, you can just throw it up high and angle it just about here, pretty much right on spot with that little beam of light up there. And you can block off heaven from this angle and only have to deal with U-Haul back here. Push around, you've got that completely covered off. You're able to move in. And even once you get to here, you still got heaven blocked off right there. And you're able to just kind of cleanly move in and try to go for the attack on heaven or could use this as a diversion as well to possibly just push through this way and go to B. All right let's get to the attack on B side. Okay so with B side say you wanted to go through uh, hookah so you got some people that's going down B long, maybe two or three, 
and at the same time you need a little bit of coverage for them from the right side because a lot of times you'll come down through here you know maybe somebody's right here somebody might be right here but a lot of times people are going to be defending from this angle to be long so by doing this wall across the center and going to that corner you're blocking off this section and this section from actually pushing on anybody coming from B long. That way, when they come in from B long, all they gotta do is somebody over here or over there. Now, good rule of thumb, once you've pushed into hookah, you always wanna just put that snake bite right out there because a lot of people are gonna be flanking coming from the A side that are defending, pushing in through there. Keep them held back for a second while somebody plants or you never know. Somebody is just holding position, basically giving them more time to kind of get dug in and defend. Hold up, there we go. Alright. For the most part, that's that's all you're really going to do with uh, the hookah push. There's a few things you could do, I suppose. You could just wall this off if you wanted, but I, I wouldn't really suggest it. It's kind of a useless wall. Now when it comes to be long, what you can do is kind of stand back this way. You can either half it, half it, or you can get similar to the angle. Then you could also get it to where you kind of got just enough angle to where you can line it up right about here. So once you've pushed down and you killed anybody that may be on this side right here, you've got a wall coming directly along this line and you're able to push in unbeknownst to these people over here get back into the elbow and kind of make it a, a backwards push. You'll need to worry about people down this way, so if you do rush down this way, put that back down there. Start lining some people up, because you've got people pushing in hookah as well. They're probably like drawing the fire at this point. And you'll just be coming up behind them, as long as no one was back there and watching you go through. Let's see. Side, I believe that's uh, it's just about it. Say you've got a sniper on B long, you could also just kind of make this kind of wall just to kind of ease in. It's not going to be the best protection, but if you've had a pesky person with an op that just keeps picking you off each round, that may be the play to do. But it's not always going to work considering all I got to do is kind of peek through and then get you. But it'll give you maybe a one or two second advantage to possibly get a few rounds off and drop them. Now as for the alt, obviously, it's always good to use this, but I forgot in part one to describe that also, say you're on the defending side and maybe over here, or possibly one of the better analogies, say someone drops the spike while you're defending over here and you know there's some enemies back here over there and you got the spike right here and you got to stop them from getting it take control of the spike just wait around wait for them to come in and you can just defend that spike the whole time and finish them off or they may never come into your cloud that will just decide to save and also noted that any of your teammates will take damage inside of this so you need to basically be solo in it and kind of conscious of your surroundings in the moment when you deploy this because it could end up killing your own teammates and possibly just uh, losing the round for the most part all right guys that's the end of part two this was bind hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a few things and i'll see you in the next video